Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hashem Ali Khan. This is the last video on theory of linear programming. Last video I have explained you about the meaning, definition and managerial applications of linear programming. Now in this video I am going to explain you about the requirements of linear programming. What are the advantages and limitations of linear programming problems. So this marks the end from the next video onwards we'll start the problems that is graphical method. How to solve the LPP by using graphical method first we'll do. After completing that we'll start the problems on simplex method. So first of all before explaining what is the requirement of LPP take the screenshot of the points then I'll explain all the points in detail. Now, requirements of LP, linear programming. First of all, the word linear means the relationship which shows linear or direct proportional relationship between variables. Whenever the variables are having propo directly proportional relationship, that we call it as linear. So here the word linear is used to describe the relationship among two or more variables which are directly proportional. The relationship between the variables should be directly proportional. For example, if A variable increase by 10%, the v, B variable will also increase by 10%. Then we can say directly proportional, right? Similarly, for example, if doubling the production, uh, production of a product, it will exactly double the profit and required resources. Then it is a linear relationship. Simple example I have given what is linear. Suppose if we double the production, of a product we are producing suppose uh, a product 1000 units suppose if you want to double 2000 units if we make the profit will be doubled and the resources used will also be doubled then we can say there is linear relationship then the word programming means planning for the activities in a manner that some optimal result will be with restricted resources simple word Planning, uh, programming means planning the activities. Planning the activities in such a way that we can be able to get an optimum solution in a restricted resources. Then regardless of the way one defines linear programming, certain basic requirements which are given below are necessary before the technique can be employed for optimization problems. So what there are so many definitions are there for linear programming. In simple words we can say it's a mathematical technique to obtain an optimum solution of a particular problem when the resources are limited. When there are limited resources that is the main meaning. Now what are the ingredients what is the requirement for linear programming. The first requirement is decision variables and their relationship first of all. A decision making problem will arise whenever we have two or more than two alternatives. If we don't have two or more than two alternatives, if we have only one course of action, no decision making at all. For example, a company is producing only a single product A. There is no problem at all because the whole resources, all the resources will be applied on A product only. Similarly, if a business is conducting only one activity, no need of decision making all the resources can be put to that activity but this will seldom happen in the real practical life in the real life a company will produce so many different products a company will be engaged in so many different activities in that case the management has to decide a combination of different activities a combination of the product so these decision variables and the relationship must be present then only we can apply uh, linear programming problem. Secondly, well-defined objective uh, function. That means there is no good solution for a bad problem. So if you want the solution to be good, the problem should be good. That means beforehand, the management must know what is the objective of our problem. What we want to achieve that objective function should be clearly defined then only we can be able to get a good solution 
third one is presence of constraints the resources should be restricted or limited if we don't have limited resources if the resources are in plenty then we can produce any number of goods there is no need of decision making but real life is all the resources which are economically present are limited scarce there are constraints on the availability of resources example material is not available in plenty there is restricted material similarly labor time is restricted machine time is restricted so many even space is limited so in such a limited constraint situation we have to find out the solution so there should be restriction presence of constraints next one alternative course of action the business must have two or more than two alternative courses of action so the management has to decide any one of the course of action then only we can apply linear programming next one non negative restriction the decision variable should be in whole number it should not be in fraction if get the decision variable in fraction it is not practical so non negativity restriction should be there next one linearity the relationship in the decision variable and the constraint variables should have linear relationship example in the objective function if one unit of a gives 2 rupees of profit if we make two units of a we will get 4 4 rupees of profit like this if we double the production we will get double the profit similarly in constraints constraints suppose example material material is one of the constraint suppose if we, if we produce one unit it requires 1 kg of material if we produce two units we require 2 kg of material like that linear relationship must be there between the constraint variables and also in the decision variables next one finite finiteness there should be finite demand finite resources we should not have infinite uh, resources and infinite objective function then additivity additivity that means we can add the values for example the material required for a product and the material required for b product both use the same type of material so we can add up the material so that is called additive principle next one is divisibility we can be able to divide the resources that means the resource is divisible between different products or different activities lastly deterministic we can clearly determine in advance how much profit we can get for each product and how much resources we use we want to use for each product everything should be deterministic that means there should not be any uncertainty in case of objective function and in case of constraints so these are few requirements for making a decision for making a linear programming problem now i am coming to the advantages of linear programming many advantages are there that's why this technique is widely used in business industry and many other fields in order to take the decision it's a systematic scientific method of decision making now first the first benefit advantage is insight and perspective into the problem solution by using this uh, linear programming problem we are going to the in depth of the problem if we go in depth into the problem then definitely we can be able to find an optimum solution because we are i mean dissecting the complete problem and going into the depth of the problem it helps in organization and study of the information in such a way that scientific approach to the problem requires this generally results in clear picture of the true problem that means if we apply linear programming we are going into the depth of the problem we can be able to have a clear picture of the problem for which we need the solution second consideration of all possible solutions many management problems are so complex that the difficulty is encountered in planning and feasible solution by using lpp technique the manager makes sure that he is considering the optimal solution every management requires an op optimum solution so we can get an optimum solution when we consider all the factors 
So LPP will help the management in considering all the factors and finding out the I mean optimum solutions, right? This is the advantage. Better and more successful decisions with LP, the executive builds into his planning a true reflection of limitation and restriction. By using this LPP, the management executives can be able to have a clear picture of what we want and what we have. What are the resources we have? How we can effectively utilize all the resources and how to attain the given objective. So this LPP will help the executives in attaining the objective. Better tool for adjusting to meet changing conditions. Once a basic plan is arrived at through LP, it can be re-evaluated and changing conditions. It's not a rigid plan. The linear programming problem is flexible. According to the changed conditions, we can be able to change the linear program. Now, highlighting the bottlenecks in the production, production process is the most significant advantage of this technique. This technique helps in identifying the bottlenecks in the production process. So once if we know the bottlenecks, we can be able to take some measure to remove it so that the production will be smooth, will be successful. Next one, other advantages. The other advantages of this approach include optimal use of productive resource factors by indicating the best use of existing facilities. Nothing should be remain unutilized. The labor should be effectively utilized. The machine time should be effectively utilized. The facilities should be effectively utilized. Raw material can be effectively utilized. So the main best advantage of this linear programming is a business can be able to effectively utilize all the resources. So I have explained you about the advantages of linear programming. Now, limitations of linear programming. We can't say disadvantage. We can say some limitations are there. If the business overcome that limitations, then definitely we can get every advantage or right there. Now, what are the limitations? Although linear programming is a very useful technique of solving optimization problems, there are certain important limitations. Some of them are firstly the linear programming model can be applied only in those situations where the constraints and the objective function can be stated in terms of linear expression. The name itself is clear linear programming. That means the relationship among the objective function and constraints must have linear relationship. If we don't have linear relationship, then linear programming is not suitable. We cannot get an optimum solution if the relationship is non-linear, right? The first limitation that there should be linear relationship in the objective function and also in the constraint functions. In real world business models, many objective functions and constraints cannot be expressed linearly. That is a fact. That is a practical life where we can see many constraints, many objective functions are not linearly related. Example, when we produce 1000 units, we are getting 10,000 rupees profit. If we double the production from 1000 units, if we double the production to 2000 units, do you think that exactly our profit will also be doubled from 10,000 to 20,000? No, it may be more than 20,000 due to economies of scale. Then we can say there is non-linear relationship. So in real practice, we come across a number of cases where we have non-linear relation. In that linear programming, it cannot be applied. In linear programming problem, fractional values are permitted for the decision variables. One of the drawback, one of the limitation of linear programming is the decision variables which we are finding out may be fractional. But in real practice, we cannot make fractional units. Example, we can produce 1 unit or 10 units or 20 units or 50 units. We cannot make 25.25 units. We cannot make 100.34 units. But in linear programming problem, the ultimate solution answer we may get in fractions. That is not practical. Now, however, many decision problems require that the solution for decision making world should be obtained in a non-fractional values. So many cases, in reality, in practice, 
the decision variable must be in whole number it cannot be in fraction now what we'll do we'll make a round off suppose if we get uh, 49.23 49.23 units we have rounded off to 50 units but making this type of rounding off the solution will not be optimal so rounding off the values obtained by LP technique may result into an optimal solution in such cases now not an optimum solution in linear programming problem uh, coefficients in the objective function and the constant equation must be completely known and they should not change during the period of study one of the requirement or limitation of linear programming is once we decide the coefficient of objective function and the coefficient of the constraints these coefficients must remain constant it should not change during the period of the study suppose if we have prepared the complete linear programming problem having taken the coefficient of objective function coefficient of constant later on the values have changed then whatever program we are making that may go waste so it is required that the coefficient of objective functions and coefficient of constraint should remain constant during the study in practical situation it may not be possible to state all coefficient and objective function and constant with certainty but real practice is we cannot be sure that the coefficient of const coefficient of constraints and coefficient of objective function will remain constant over a period of time it may change then if the coefficients change our solution of LPP is not an optimum solution many real problems world problems are so complex in terms of number of variables and relationship constraint in them that will be difficult to make accurate computations if only two three variables are there two three constants are there one objective is there easily we can find out the solution by linear programming but the real world is very much complex the problems faced by business industries are much more complicated than, than this simple approach we have so many variables so many interrelationship between the variables in the constraints and also objective we don't have a single objective many many multiple objectives are there in such a complex environment in such a complex situation the linear programming problem may not give an optimum solution so complex problem it will be difficult to apply so these are some of the limitations so in this video I've explained you about the requirement of linear programming problem advantages and limitations of linear programming so if you have watched this video with full concentration till the end definitely you can be able to write an examination confidently the question regarding linear programming inshallah in the next video we'll start the problems on uh, linear programming by graphical method so if you are satisfied give a like to the video share my channel give your comment subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and by the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah we will continue the problems in the next video